Kevin and I are going to use blocks to build the rock steps up. And this is, here's the former people that own this had this here. And I really think it's ugly and I really don't want it here. So this is a massive amount of blocks. We're going to start using them. Go get a level. Should we have closed off on the ends, flip the blocks so the ends are closed off so snakes and stuff don't go crawling up in there? Look, this is what I mean. Flip it, the end ones, so it's closed. I can't pull that over to here. Critters can't get in there. Have 
You got a tape measure. We're going to do a dry fit of these rocks up here. <clears throat> I have a vision. Man, we're going to need that dolly out here too. That big one there. It has to come up there too. I know we will need rocks under the end of that rock. It, it narrows down. We'll put it on the back. But we'll dry fit, then we'll level with the mortar. Rocks and mortar and be done. Well, not be done. Be ready to do the rails and fix the porch and do what we can with this guttering up here. We gotta bust it in. Okay, so where's the dolly? Cause we get we gonna need the dolly. We gotta move a lot of rocks to get that big one up in here too. We can leave that one for the bottom. We'll dry fit with these shorter ones. That'd be easy. See the big ones on the bottom. Oh, I can't even pick them up, y'all. Is all I can do to pick up the cinder blocks. My neck. I'm due shots. I'm getting shots on the 12th of March. Woo so I think I want to leave the big ones on the bottom. We'll do the little ones up here, and then the big ones we can stagger off of each other and maybe fill in with some of these. Net. We'll see. So let pick up this two. This right here. Just put one in the back. And then now turn it the other way. We're gonna have to get two rocks. There you go. You don't have to go back that far. There. Now, that one right in front of it, because I think they're the same piece of rock myself. Actually, I think that back side will go with that in a groove away. Look at that. That's the same rock for sure. That's fine. Leave a little space there. Come on out to the edge. Just a little bit. We'll fill in with mortar there. That's good. We didn't get any tent for that mortar, did we? <coughs> Let me see. Of course, I'll be stepping on something here. It's a little tall, but what if we put those one-inch pavers that's up there on the ground by that tree across there, then stack the rocks. I think that'll raise it up enough. And they're what? Probably 12 by 12. And what about those? Those are a different shape. Hey, these are a walkway going over to our storm shelter, and we don't really like them. We're going to shorten the length of them. These are perfect. Look how thick they are, and they will fit the size of the block. Here you go. Oh. Of course, we had to click, get a million ants off of them. Okay. Now the tail. 
this, and I think it's going to be just right. dodging ants. This is the uh, day after, uh, two days after, we got out here and messed with these rocks and we had a big rainstorm yesterday morning. Thousands of ants congregated under this big rock. I had Kevin move it because I have to metal detect before we cover this up permanently. I'm sure stuff has fallen out of people's pockets. I just picked up a pool tab that was laying on the surface. So let's see what sounds off. Let me get it set. I can't get myself in there and metal detect. Woo! Let me try to get a gap. Get a balance. Ooh. Okay. Sensitivity. I'm gonna bring it down. Okay, 
have two we found here. Iron Foil Foil Iron Right in the ants, it says. So that could be everything's on the surface here. Let me just see if there's anything on the close enough to the surface. Oh, right there. What's that? Yeah, this is this is fun stuff. Let me find my shovel. <laughs> So now we are on part two of the step, or well, is it three? It's part three. Part two. No, it's part two. <laughs> uh, we've slept a few days uh, recoup for Kevin to recuperate because this is a lot of weight, y'all. We're going to take this top layer off and we're going to put down our mortar, get it set, and get the cracks filled in. And get them kind of cleaned up and that may be all we get out of that one bag we probably should have got two but if not it's not far to the hardware store to go get it so anyway we finally got the ants we had to wait a few minutes to get the ants cleared off after our metal detected yeah i'm eat up so anyway here we go <laughs> When I was a kid, I had an Uncle Carl who had a big ranch, and in his sidewalk, he had some silver dollar, or a silver dollar, and he told us that if we ever got that silver dollar out, that he would give us a quarter horse, and 
but we couldn't use any tools. So we would sit out there with sticks and our fingers and we would try, try, try. Well, I don't have a silver dollar, but I've got a quarter that's 2003, which is the year we bought the place. Huh? 2023. <laughs> God, the sun. Uh, anyway, I'm putting it in out here. And I also have all of my beautiful crystals. And a lot of them are actually small jewel grade. And I really want to put some in here. Because that's Arkansas. And I think I've let it get too hard. Yeah. I've got to stand up, y'all. Sorry. I just can't squat. I'm too old. My knees are shot with arthritis. I get shots in them. But after a little while, them shots wear out. Look how pretty. Y'all, can you see? And it does have the in situ stuff on it. But I think I can push that down in there to help hold on to it. There we go. Let's see. That one's got too much on it. <clears throat> Woo! Y'all look at that beauty. Can you see it? Oh, little short and stubby. Man, he would hurt somebody's feet, but I'm, I wish I had somewhere to put him. Little short and stubby. Nope, I just made a hole. Little short and stubby stick out the side. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, you can stick out the side too. Nope. Sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you just had enough When you're thinking everything is gone wrong Just remember that I From the ground Let you know that I'm always around Cause I know we can make it Yes, we can make it If we try Keep on trying This is just awful to have to try to fit and see what's going to work and what's not going to work.
Look, we can take that handrail out. You know I'm wanting to redo it. Yeah, look at how much it's gonna be over. Let's take that handrail out on this side. We wanna use that big rock. And the only way to use that big rock is to take that handrail out. And I'm wanting to take the handrails out anyway and redo them. So, Kevin just shook it and said it's solid as a rock. <laughs> but it just, the wood's just splintering and splitting and it looks like crap. It's really sun-dried bad. I don't know how many years it's been up there. Probably since, what? Before 85, because they built that house up there and moved in in 85. So, they they put this wood on this old house and built this porch on here. I don't know how long they lived here before they built the other house. But, yeah. It's, you know, 40 years old. Wow! That's awesome. <laughs> I was going to watch it break your arms, man. I figured it was just going to bounce back. I want to be sledgehammer. All of a sudden, he's stronger. <laughs> he man, he man. Pick it up, man. Come on. Woohoo! Is it not going to fit? Oh, no. You got to hit it again. Move it a little bit. Okay, don't smash your fingers. That looks like a finger smasher. Got the steps done. What'd you say it was? Under seven dollars, right? For one bag of the mortar stuff that we use. Oh, sorry, I got a hair in my mouth. Six under seven dollars, right? Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. So he went over seven paying tax. But let me tell you, Kevin worked his tail end off lifting that stuff up. Wasn't easy for him. That's heavy stuff. They want to